Hello and welcome to the RCB podcast powered by Kotak Mahindra Bank. So they moved to the US yeah. and you would go there. Yeah. What did your parents do in the US? So they worked uh, my father worked at an, uh, at an airport my mother worked at uh, Dunkin Donuts so your uh, basic uh, blue collar jobs um, uh, because they didn't have a lot of formal education uh, uh, struggle with language um, so those were the best jobs they could uh, get those are the only jobs that are available to those people and especially uh, we went there in 2008 which was the peak of uh, the financial crisis uh so uh if you got a job you were you were the luckiest person in america um so and obviously we didn't realize it at that time but now when i look at the look at the atmosphere uh, that was in the us at that time it feels like uh, like it it all really fell into place all the pieces really fell into place and uh, for for 7 or 8 years my mom and dad they worked uh, probably 16 hours a day 17 hours a day um and uh, again blue collar job 7 days a week um, because in in our culture it's uh, it's forbidden to take uh, breaks oh uh, we can't man of we course we can't take breaks kill uh, ourselves working yeah yeah kill ourselves working and they did that for 7 years and uh, after that you know i was doing well in ipl i was playing ipl consistently so i was sort of independent financially and my parents were obviously uh, in in those 7 years they had uh gathered enough for the for uh, for themselves and for the future and my brother was obviously doing well in the US so then they decided you know my dad decided my mom was still of the opinion that let's stay here for a few years and work and my dad said no as soon as he got his american passport his citizenship he was like i'm out i'm done and um, yeah he moved back to india my mom moved back after 6 uh, months or 7 months um and they've been retired ever since so many people who just like kill to get like an american passport yeah you're sitting with your parents having american passports yeah. uh you can apply for one if you want how does that work man i mean you stayed away from it you have an indian passport has yeah. it how do you guys decide on that's a how do i put it it's a tactical decision yeah. to say if we take the american passport yeah. then harshal can't play in india no So let's not get in the Indian passport. How did that happen? What was that conversation? So once you get a green card, I don't know, uh, a lot of people are not aware of it. Once you get a green card, you have to stay in the US for five years to be able to apply for citizenship. Um, so I I never had that option. I couldn't stay in the US for five years uh, at a time. Um, and uh, so so that was never on cards for me. And also, obviously, if I get an American passport, then I play in the IPL as an overseas. which was I was not finding a place in the team as an indian so <laughs> playing as an overseas was uh, was sort of far fetched um so and and also that that has never been uh, something that i aspired to um, the american passport or whatever it was whatever perks that came with it uh, but uh, my my every decision i've made since i was 17 years old um in my memory have been around i want to play cricket um uh, so anything that helped me play cricket but become a better cricketer um i i, I obviously chose that over uh, anything else so was that always the dream growing up as well i want to play cricket and do nothing else yeah i think i realized that at uh, 17 because uh, you know you're in um, you're amongst a bunch of uh, peers who are uh, competing uh, with you and against you and you realize that you're you're better than them you know you obviously have some talent you obviously yeah. have some uh, skill which is superior to all your uh, peers and then you realize that you know i can make something out of it um, that i didn't realize until uh, i got picked for um, under 19 india uh, to play world cup in new zealand um, but once i once i realized that then i thought you know um, the only thought was how do i become a better cricketer now how do i uh, whatever because i was dominating junior cricket and um, to switch from junior cricket to senior cricket and professional cricket it took me a little while to understand the the intricacies and uh, the things i needed to work on and also like i've i've always been someone who wants to try new things 
so that consistency of thought the consistency of uh, you know sticking to your game uh, and obviously getting better as you go on but i i was i was always trying to uh, get better in in things that i was uh, i was not good at um, so so that was something that i i learned at uh, 27 28 that these are the things that i can do so if i pay more attention to these things then i'll 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 find my place in in any team but if i try to do things that i don't do well um, and focus more on that rather than things that i can do well uh, it's not going to go well for me and it it took me about 7 8 years to learn that lesson so um who are the people who played with you in the under 19 world cup uh all these guys kl mayank mandy mandeep singh uh, ashok menar ajay devonat uh sandeep sharma a lot of these guys sort of netra holkar who is leading us cricket right now um all of uh, all of us were uh, teammates you and rcb are quite a combination yeah you started here then they traded you to delhi for a bit and yeah. then you came back again yeah what is this strange relationship yeah this was very surprising like to be very honest like i spent 6 years of uh, of my initial ipl career with rcb and then i played 3 years for delhi and then when they traded me this year i was very surprised to be honest because uh, i thought uh, delhi will keep me as a as a as a backup option i, I don't think they'll let me go but uh, luckily they decided to let me go and rcb was uh, uh, from what i heard they were very keen on bringing me back here and giving me this role of uh, death bowler yeah. and uh, and that obviously as as everyone knows changed my my career listen to all the episodes of the rcb podcast on spotify gana amazon prime music and apple podcasts ye hai mera driver's license my metro card aur ye hai mera fan card